What do you think about um, the fact that so many of the bodybuilders today just take huge quantities of chemicals? I don't and, like it. And they don't look, they look, they, they have big size, Yeah. period. There's no form, there's no symmetry, no. there's no shape. There's no shape. You can line them all up, they all look the same. You line all of us guys back up in the 70s with silhouettes, I've said this, you can tell everybody's different. You're right. You're right. The, the thing is with the chemicals, I mean, anything can hurt you. You can overdose on aspirin, you can, the model died on water. Uh, anything you take it to extreme coffee, whatever, it's not good for you. And the same thing with steroids. There are certain steroids that you take as you get older, like testosterone, because your body doesn't produce it, or women with estrogen. But you don't have to go to the extreme of insulin, synthol, and all these other chemicals that blow you out of proportion because it's hard on your heart. Yeah. And um, your heart can only take so much, and then one day that's it, it bursts and that's it. And for what, just to be big? Yeah. And I've seen two guys that, that get huge, like 300 pounds, and one guy down in Venice, he's like 150 now. You yeah. lost it all. Yeah. And being sick doesn't look like the same person at all. And so you had your 15 minutes of fame, now what? I think a lot of the people who get instant muscle from chemicals don't keep training later in life. No. Guys like you and me who trained really hard when we were young are yeah. still training really hard in our 60s and 70s and plan to in the 80s. Bob Paris, he was another one at the yeah. Very smart guy. Yeah. I always liked and respected Bob a lot. Yeah, he was always in good shape. But it's funny.